another TikTok creator do this and I really want to do it too. I want you to comment any assumptions that you might have of me, anything at all, and I will like the ones that are true. Let's do this. Don't let one day of bad food lead to another day of bad food and no working out. Don't let the momentum start going the wrong way. Get that body back in motion. Get back on track. Snap yourself back into the discipline. Foods you can eat and still lose weight. Cheeseburgers, doner kebabs, chicken, fish, bacon, noodles, pasta, fruit, cheese, fried chicken, chips, more chicken, pizza, ice cream, meatballs. I think you get my point. No foods are off limits ever. Do you want your fridge to look like this? Get yourself some meal prep containers. Go food shopping. This is exactly how myself and Charlotte have lost 15 stone in weight. We shop at various places to keep the cost down. most weeks we're able to do this for less than 20 pounds we have both the cookbook and the meal prep containers available from the link in the bio so you too can meal prep like this how to store and reheat meal prep all foods will last three days in the fridge or they will need to be frozen to reheat the foods simply use a microwave although certain things will reheat better in the oven it's about finding out what best works for you TikTok. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do your meals last um, a full week? Don't they go off? Don't they go mouldy? Well, if you left them a full week, yeah, they would. Every single meal will last three days in the fridge completely, completely fine. However, what I will do, I will leave in the fridge. I will leave in the fridge Tuesdays and Wednesdays meals. So Tuesdays, Wednesdays. Here's the breakfasts, and I will freeze. That's dinner for Wednesday, sorry, Thursday. Tea for Thursday. One for Friday. Breakfast for Thursday. Breakfast for Friday. And then we cook fresh again on Friday evening. So, yeah, that's not rocket science, and that's how we do it. Hey, yo, I can't lie, 2020 mucked me up. But the one thing that kept me on the straight and narrow was keeping plant-based. And I managed to do it for a whole year. And with Veganuary coming up, I thought it'd be a sick idea to show you lot how to make really, really good vegan food. Now, the problem is, is I haven't posted for over two months. So if you're seeing this video, I beg you, like, share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend, just so TikTok knows I'm still alive. But until then, keep safe, and I'll see you on the 1st of Jan. Blueberry raspberry yogurt pots. You will need some mason jars and two kilos of Greek yogurt. Add sweetener and combine, and divide between the equal jars. Add blueberries and raspberries, the glass containers help keep the fruit fresh for up to five days. Enjoy. How to make honey soy garlic chicken. For the marinade, you will need olive oil, honey, ginger, garlic, soy sauce, salt and pepper. Coat six chicken thighs evenly and add to the oven at 180 degrees for 45 minutes. Serve with rice and green beans, top with sesame seeds, job done. Foods you can eat and still lose weight. Cheeseburgers, doner kebabs, chicken, fish, Bacon, noodles, pasta, fruit, cheese, fried chicken, chips, more chicken, pizza, ice cream, meatballs. I think you get my point. No foods are off limits ever. Another week's meal prep, job done and in the fridge. Every meal is under 400 calories. 
This meal prep cost under £20. The link for our recipe book is available in the link in the bio. And this is how we eat every single week. Check the link in our bio for the recipes and for our meal prep containers shown. You too can have a fridge that looks like this. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check, give it a microphone, I make them make it a microphone dead. Don't step to You must follow food TikTok. Knowing how to make food from a box is not good enough. Knowing how to order food online is not impressive. Come to Food TikTok and I will show you how to cook such a I just made these Vietnamese rice paper rolls. I'm gonna teach you how to make a satay sauce to go with them. Right, so all you gotta do is put soya sauce, curry powder, coconut milk, some sort of sweetener, peanut butter, and a little squeeze of lime, lemon. Into a pan, get that all into a pan, then we cook it out until it looks something like that. Get that into a little ramekin, and boom, there we have a satay sauce. Ooh. I don't know if it's love I can smell in the air or the spices from these beautiful bakoras, but satin smelling nice. This is our first course for our three course Valentine's menu. And what a better way to get the conversation flowing than with